So I'm going to tell you guys uh, one more alpha beta pruning example. Okay, so this is the tree now. And then, you know, imagine that you're doing depth first search. So the only thing that you see is what depth first search sees. You're seeing the whole tree in front of you, but you know, your search algorithm doesn't. Okay, so you start from here, you go, you expand A, you expand B, you expand E, you find that it's a terminal node, it has a value four. So as soon as you find that, now B has a, uh, a bound, it says B cannot be anything uh, greater than four. So it's B has a bound of less than or equal to four. So at this point, now depth first search comes back and then goes to F and then finds it's an F. So now you're supposed to take minimum of four and five for B and so that B's real value becomes four. As soon as B has a real value, A now has a real a bound and the bound is actually a greater than or equal to bound. So since A basically can get at least a four from here, it will only be greater than or equal to four. Anything else has to be better than four for it to take that. Okay, so now you have greater than or equal to four. You come, depth first search continues, comes here, comes here, comes here to G, finds G is equal to six. So now C will get less than or equal to six. And then you come up again from C and you come down here, you come down here. Remember depth first search comes all the way to M and then M equal to three. So that means H is greater than or equal to three. And then depth first search goes uh, to H back down to N, it finds this is a four. So you are taking max of three and four. So in fact, at this point, H's value is four. Uh, in fact, what happens is it says greater than or equal to four and then finds there are no ch children. And as soon as there are no children, the current bound becomes the real value, okay? So then H is four. The moment H is four, now C can be taking minimum of six and four as its current bound. At this point, its current bound is less than or equal to four. Okay, now let's think about what's going on. You have a less than or equal to four here. One of C's ancestors is A. It says greater than or equal to four. So C says, I will never let anybody up who is any better than four. And A says, I already have a four. I will never really need anybody who is equal to or worse than four. And so basically, as far as the search is concerned, you may as well say that you can just cut this whole thing up. Okay, because in fact, you don't know how much is here except you know that at this point there is no point in looking below this node c so alpha beta cuts there now notice of course that in this in this particular picture you know that you saved three nodes but really there could have been a huge big tree below it and you would have saved all of that too okay now as soon as you cut it at this point as far as you're concerned c is not going to be on the main line so you just go out of this and then you come this side to d and then D to K and K is three. So that means D is less than or equal to three. Now, because D is less than or equal to three and A is greater than or equal to four, again, you have a cutoff because this guy will never let anything better than three up and this guy won't need anything um, worse than or equal to four. And so at this point, again, under D, you just stop exploit exploring. Okay, so you stop there. Okay, so at this point, whatever is the current bound of A becomes its backed up value. So A actually is, A's backed up value is four, and then that four really is coming from here, E. Okay, so that's basically, um, A will make this move, and then that's because it thinks that it can get a four at least from this direction. So that's your alpha beta pruning, okay?